Hi there, folks. Hello, everybody. Um, this is Mr. Julian, and um, I, uh, I'm jumping in a little early. It's, um, it's a few more seconds before it's actually 10 o'clock, and I, I, I don't like to officially begin until 10, because, of course, I, I don't think anybody, um, well, anyone who's planning on logging in at 10 is, is not here yet. Um, why don't I get this out of the way? Um, this is political. Uh, and if you're political, you always run the risk of looking like an asshole. And, and, and uh, you're going to look like an asshole to some. But there are occasions when to not be political means that you actually are an asshole. And it's much worse to actually be an asshole than to look like one. So Governor Northam of Virginia signed a bill today that will finally allow us in Charlottesville to take down the Confederate monuments uh, that became a rallying point for the massive white supremacist uh, horror show uh, that occurred here a few years ago and in which um, some of my friends were put in the hospital and, uh, and uh, one of my fellow townspeople was killed. And it's about fucking time. It's like, fuck you, Stonewall Jackson and Robert E. Lee, the worst people you could possibly have statues. Nobody who knows anything about anything thinks that these are people who should have, who deserve to be honored. Uh, just fucking insecure white people want to keep the statues there to prove that they're still in charge. Well, guess what, white people? You are still in charge, pretty much. So why don't you fucking deal with that for a change? All right. Enough of that. Thank you for clicking on this fun with Pete and Sherry video. I am your host, Mr. Julian. And tonight I am continuing to review whiskeys in the Red Breast line. And I mentioned that I was going to be going up the scale into some very, very lofty uh, regions, some quite expensive uh, red breast whiskeys. But before I do that, I'm going to go down the scale to what I think is, is, is you would now call their entry level whiskey, perhaps their version of the ever popular um, no age statement uh, trend with the red breast Lustau. Lustau is a kind of sherry and this is, um, a, without telling us the age, we know it's been, it's been, and, and, and not even fully aged in, but finished in uh, Lustau sherry barrels. So, the real question uh, to me in, in something like this is not, uh, you know, e e does the does the gimmick with the Lestau make it make it a good whiskey because it couldn't possibly, um, but uh, how does the Redbreast spirit, which I really love, hold up when it's presented youngish? So let's let's find that out, shall we? vaguely sweet. I'm not getting the traditionally uh, grainy, grassy uh, red breast notes. Not from the bottle, anyway. Let's see what I get from the glass. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm yet, now I am. Grainy and grassy. Little hints of almond, marzipan, an amaretto, which is almond and cherry. <sighs> yeah, uh, yeah, amaretto is really actually a good, um, a good call. I'm going to stick with that as, as a very pronounced element on the nose. Some tangier elements too. Pretty, uh, pretty common. Uh, Knows from ever said. I, I, I'm not sure I could distinguish this from um, 
a red breast 12 uh, just from 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 smell but uh, but let's give it the final test Mm. I mean, this is not bad whiskey, but it's not, it's not, um, it's not magnificent whiskey either. I, I, I feel like most people who buy this, um, Especially folks, who, you know, maybe who don't have uh, the money for more expensive ones. I feel that they're getting a whiskey that's that's a little too bitter. Um, it, it does have a, a fair amount of complexity. Uh, it, it just that 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 grasp, but it's it's not it's not fully formed. The depth and the integration of those um, <laughs> the vegetable elements. Uh, it, it, it's not really what it is in the in the in the more aged uh, drams. Now I would um, aftertaste is really bitter, really bitter. Man. Orange quickly turns to orange peel. If my neighbor would shut the fuck up. God. Can you guys hear that bass? My neighbor is not merely my neighbor. He's also my tenant. You'd think he wouldn't fucking annoy me. All right. Um... This is a. What, what, what does that mean? Uh, snack, snack. It, our orange, orange, orange. Am I uh, am I pronouncing that not, not to your liking? Or you must be British. Orange. That's how we say it in America. Orange. Uh, do I like the Red Breast 12 cask, 15, or what's the best? Used to be 12 cask and 15 were both magnificent. And, uh, oh, okay. Uh, were both magnificent, and uh, I, there was no way to say which I, I preferred. 15, and, and, and it wasn't gradual. It was just like 15 went from being one drink to another. Uh, and, and drink it is now is not the equal one. Was. So 12 cask, no question. No question. 12 cask is, uh, I, mean, I, well, I, I think I would give it a, I, I, I think I rated it like a 9.0 or, or 9 point something. I mean, it, I mean, it's it's fantastic whiskey. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it, I honestly, the first time I drank Red Breast 12 cask drink, I, the first sip I had, having been a flavor seeker for several years, was, okay, I'm not sure other whiskeys are now necessary. I... I Really, it's 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 just uh, I I have never had a disappointing sip of of twelve cask strength. Ah, but anyway, orange. I am what I am, and that's all that I am. So, bro, oh, give me a kitty. Ah, all right. Well, thanks for tuning in, though. I, 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 uh, I do appreciate the company. And um, I, I guess it's all for tonight. I guess i got to give this a rating. Well, it's, it's, it's growing on me a little bit. Um, dimple, dimple pinch is not bad um, for, you know, for what it is. Oh. But, uh, but Lil Stout, you, you can drop me. This, this is a very affordable whiskey.
Yeah, because it's 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 common. Um, it's 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 not bad at all, though. I don't think. Um, I mean, it's it's. Uh, I mean, it's definitely. I I would put it a step above, say, you know, like Johnny Walker Black. Um, really, you're getting Listow and ca and twelve cask strength for the same price. I, I you would not buy Listow in that case. Twelve casks. Whew. Well, you. Hey, hey! God damn it! This fucking cat bites me. Something I don't even know what this cat. It bites the living shit out of me. Um. No Tiger King, me. So, no. Well, okay. Hmm. Yep, yep. Um, so, they're, they're um, I believe, uh, now, Dim, correct me if I'm wrong, Dimple Pinch is a blended malt, right? Or is it? I'm not, I'm not sure I recall, I, I remember that exactly. And also, uh, and also, um, uh, Creston had a dimple pinch in um, <laughs> in Breaking Bad, so um, uh, it, it has that cachet now. Um, higher malt content, okay, not not, not pure malt. Uh, reminds me of Black Bush, really interesting. I uh, I I think of Black Bush as having a very distinct. Um, uh, whiny uh, overtone. Um, all right. Well, uh, how, how how is this growing on me? How do you say? Uh, the orange is is very. It, it, it's getting less bitter. More creamy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love Glen Gary Twelve. I should do a review of that. Mm. Um. Okay. So, so I'm feeling my way here. Um. Yes, there's there's maybe more going on here than I initially thought. The the the, the, the cloudy sort of mouthfeel that you get from most red breasts, I'm not really getting here. But well, well, it is bitter. It's also got a it's a pretty grand complexity for a young whiskey. Twenty bucks, God, you people in California. Uh, I know. I, every time I do a, uh, and I'm getting this for just seventy five dollars. We were like, huh? I get that for five bucks at Costco. I know, not that you're right next there, but but whatever. It, it just like wow, wow. Um, you know, we have Costco's here too, but they don't sell whiskey. Oh. So this is it. That almond and nuttiness. Kind of binds it together with with the um, darker, more back of the throat fruit, cherry and and orange, orange, orange. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. Um. I, I, I'm I'm enjoying this. I, I, I could I could I could drink this for a night and and um and, you know so sort of the mouth acclimates to a to a different flavor profile. Yes, yeah, so though the the ABC has really changed its um 
that's alcohol beverage control, which southern states have. It's just the state controls everything about distribution uh, of alcohol, of, of, of anything above wine, right, in terms of uh, strength. So, so, so it, uh, all liquors go through alcohol, uh, alcoholic beverage control. And um, their purpose was control for most of history. But in like the last 10 years, along with everything else, their purpose has become revenue. And, uh, and, 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 and that, of course, means they have no purpose because I, it isn't the state's job to run businesses to make money. That's, uh, frankly, a very un-American concept. So, so this is good. I was thinking it might be below seven as a rating for sure, but, but no, no. Um, moving up, up the scale. In fact, I know exactly where this falls now. Uh, I'm giving this a 7.6. 7.6. So, uh, um, well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, I don't think anybody would tolerate it except for the fact that it's already there. So it's like, it's hard to get everybody riled up about something that's been going on for a hundred years, even if it's something that they would normally not like. Uh, and, and that's basically the case with the, uh, with the ABC. I, um, uh, I know conservatives were railing against it for a while, and, and 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 I can't think of any reason why you know liberals would want it either. And uh, our our governor um, uh, McDonald was was sentenced to like fifty years in prison um, uh, before like some higher powers took took the. Uh, uh, took pity on him for for, for um, you know selling half the state to his to his uh, crooked uh, uh, <laughs> his crooked businessman friends. Um, he he had actually pledged to get rid of it as part of his uh, his election campaign, and then he got in in power, and then and then everyone else convinced him, no, 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 we need this, and he was like, okay, I do what you say. Uh, we went to we went to crappy doctors here. Um, Though, as I as I mentioned earlier in the show tonight, the uh, the current governor definitely did us a solid. All right, that's enough for now, and uh, and, I, and I hope you keep coming back, uh, snack snack, uh, and um, I'll see the rest of you later as well. Have a good night.